Welcome back on this Tuesday. Well, as baby boomers turn 60, they have more to deal with than just blowing out the candles on their cake. Some have the painstaking task of choosing a care facility for an aging parent. And joining us with help on selecting the right nursing home or assisted living facility is registered nurse and nursing home administrator, Dan Mull. Dan, nice to have you here. And nice to be here. Thank you, Fanny. I help people understand. Take us inside the doors a little bit so that we know what the difference is between assisted living or a retirement community community and a nursing home? That's an excellent question, Connie. A nursing facility will provide a higher level of 24-hour a day skilled nursing services, medication administration, treatment, medication treatments, physicians visits at the facility on a regular basis, mm -hmm. physical, occupational, speech therapy, uh, dietary services, professional social work services. That's all within the nursing facility. Mm -hmm. Assisted living will vary greatly from state to state, so it's a difficult topic for consumers and families to really get an understanding about. They're going to have to do their homework because each state will have different programs under this umbrella mm -hmm. of assisted living, but generally in assisted living there would be less intensity of nursing help and physical help on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but there would be some 24-hour general supervision. The resident may have to leave the facility to see the doctor or to get some medical supervision and, and assistance. So it's less intensive care in the assisted living environment, much more residential, more social. Right, and a lot of uh, assisted living and retirement communities, you might have your own apartment really within the facility yourself. Yes, you could have your own apartment. It might be a little smaller than what you're used to at home. You sure. may have a kitchenette. And you'd have a little more privacy in assisted living. In a nursing facility, you'd have less privacy unless you could afford the private room. Right. But again, you'd have more intensive services. So it's a balance between the two. Dan, it always feels like, no matter which one you're going into, that there is some resistance to begin with from an aging parent or an elderly person that you're associated with. Is it because they just don't understand what, they might, be, might, what might be available to them? Or is it that they just don't want to leave their own home? I think it's much more the latter than the former. I think people understand that as you get older, as your health care changes, as your physical needs change, your right. safety needs change, you're going to have to make changes in your lifestyle. But let's be frank about it. This is not Disneyland we're talking about. Sure. People don't look forward to the day when they may need assistance on a 24-hour basis and safety and security in a residential or health care setting that's different from their home. Also a psychological thing there where most people that go in know that they're not going to go back to their own home again. Things are not going to get, they're not going to take more control of their life. They'll probably have less as time goes on. Well, over time, our, our life space changes and, and our needs and, and our expectations would yeah. change. But often, again, particularly in assisted living, folks will leave the hospital, I'm sorry, more in nursing facilities, folks will leave the hospital go to a nursing facility for post-hospital convalescence yeah. and then return home, return to live with family or perhaps return back to the sure. assisted living. Others will stay on a more long-term basis. basis. Yeah. Give us some tips then for families who are out there that are thinking, gee, it's really time for my parent um, to go into a nursing home and, and I want to make sure I make the right decisions. What are some things we should be thinking about? Uh, number one, you want to plan ahead. You really want to start early to get educated about assisted living in your state, mm -hmm. about nursing facilities. Facilities. Number two, you want to look for facilities that are close to home so that you can visit often. That's very, very important. Right. Get help. Get the help of a neighbor or a friend, perhaps someone who's been through that experience, someone who is much less emotionally involved in this difficult and challenging decision. Can really see it from far away. That, yeah. that you might be, and perhaps seek professional help as well from a doctor, nurse, or social worker. Okay. Um, and the other thing is matching funds, and that's big too because it can be very costly. Yes, it can be costly, and, and you'll either pay privately, or if it's a nursing facility, Medicare can pay for a short period of time, hospital convalescence, or if you spend down your resources and Medicaid can, can uh, step up to the plate for a nursing facility. Assisted living and public funding or Medicaid funding and assisted living will vary, again, greatly from state to state. Some mm -hmm. states will fund it other states may not. But that's certainly part of the equation as to what care do I need, what services are important to me, and how am I going to pay for it, or what programs can help me pay for it. What programs can help me pay for it, and time to get in the car and go look around the neighborhood a little bit. Very important to do <laughs> okay. that, yes. Dan, thank you for being here. Nice to have thank you Thank you. Pleasure to be with you. This is Dan Moles, and for more information on these tips, you can visit our website at cn8.tv forward slash your morning.